and welcome back to Robert's Wrestling Talk. This is your host, Robert Red, and I am still joined by my guest, Jamie. How are you doing, Jamie? Good. We're ready to get on with it. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, with, so uh, the, uh, this segment of Robert's Wrestling Talk, we're going to talk about should championships be brand specific. Now, on Monday Night Raw, uh, the new title was announced for Raw. Stephanie McMahon mentioned uh, throughout uh, the history of Raw, there's always been a champ to be one now. So there was the announcing of the Universal Champion. So uh, that now has a title for Raw and a title for SmackDown that creates two world titles. So my question to you is, should there be brand-specific titles? Should there be titles that are just for Raw and just for SmackDown? Or what do you think about that? I think with the brand split, they really should have separate titles because that way, you know, let's say, okay, Dan Ambrose, he has the championship. They introduced the other belt. Okay. That puts, you know, oh, uh, well, whoever is the champion on one brand and the champion on the other, they're kind of like at the top of the roster, which separates them, completely mm -hmm. separates them. Now, another thing, that's like the positive. There's another deal where I completely disagree with what I just said. Because if Raw and SmackDown are going to be battling, they should have just one championship belt and use that as a push for pay-per-view. Like, okay, this person has this belt, and they're facing somebody from Raw. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the one to get it? I mean, that that would have a lot of viewers, too. Because, you know, it would have the, like, they're trying to go back, and they're wanting to do something kind of like the Monday Night Wars. I -hmm. think that would be very interesting, because it would have ratings go up for both of them plus there will be a lot more people interested in the pay-per-view because they're curious to see where it's going but if you want to look at it if yeah. they're I, I really do go ahead okay i i do think uh that uh, certain championships should be brand specific it um uh, like the world title should not be brand specific. It should get float between uh, two, both Raw and SmackDown. Uh, because to me, having two world titles is just it's it's wonky. You should be able to go back and forth, forth. Uh, but uh, for the women's title and the tag titles, that's kind of been the whole question of of because you have the women's champion is now Sasha Banks and she's on Raw. You have the tag champs or the New Day, they're on Raw. Well, what's going to happen to the tag teams that are on SmackDown? Because you have tag teams like American Alpha uh, have come up from NXT to go to SmackDown, and also the Women's Championship. Like, what are people like Alexa Bliss and Natty and Becky Lynch and all them want to fight over? So, I mean, it would be what's the point in fighting if you don't have a championship? So, I mean, you either need to have the champions go back and forth between the brands, and they need to be kind of immune from the brand split. It are have it to where if you're only going to have the one championship belt, have it to where all the women are on one division are on one show and they get to fight for the title. And then like the other divisions on the other show, like maybe say the tag division all gets to be on raw and the women's division gets to all be on SmackDown or vice versa. However you want to do it. So to me, you either need to make your champions immune from the brand split, or you need to have it to where all of that division is on one show. To me, I think that would work a lot better. That's kind of like um, when I watched SmackDown the other night. It almost all of the divas are have went to SmackDown. Yeah, the women's wrestlers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I was kind of, you know, thinking the same thing about their, you know, their belt. If you wanted to do a SmackDown divas belt, and if you wanted to have the Raw one. I mean, you could do that. But, like I said, you know, what happens at pay-per-views? You know, with SmackDown only going to be able to wrestle SmackDown for it? And if Raw is only going to be able to wrestle, you know, the Raw workers for it? I mean, it's it's crazy. It's all, it's mixed. And I think, honestly, to come down to it, they just need to have one belt for all of it. 
be able to battle it out at pay-per-views and they should be able to have somebody from SmackDown, let's say, come over to Raw and challenge for it. You know, even though there's a brand split, they should be able to kind of appear. Yeah. You know, and be like, hey, look, I want a chance at the championship or at the tag titles. You know, let's do this. And then, you know, if they win, if Raw has them, they go back to SmackDown. Yeah. That, that... You know, it will keep the feud going. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean, uh, introducing more and more titles is going to devalue the ones that are already in existence. So that's really uh, my problem with having, uh, like, a women's champion on Raw, a women's champion on SmackDown, stuff like that, because it's going to devalue the belts. Plus, I don't know if you really have the depth and roster to where you can have a belt. And, like, say for the women's uh, belt, you don't want to reintroduce the Divas title because you kind of – killed that just a few months back uh, at WrestleMania and also with what they're trying to do, push away from Divas to women's wrestling and that almost to me, I think the ladies would feel like that would be a set back if they reintroduced the Divas title. Maybe you could call it the SmackDown ladies titles instead of the women's title and you call it the ladies title and that's what you do. But that's why I'm saying certain divisions should process, should be on like one show. If you're going to have a, a women's title and a women's division, they should all be on one show. If you're going to have a tag division, they should be all on one show and vice versa. And like the main title you could have to where you go between the two brands. Because to me, you're going to have too many guys to where you can't just have all guys on one show fighting for the world title. So you should have the one world title and make them immune to where you go back and forth between the shows is really what I think about that. I'm trying to figure out why we're even getting another one anyways. Didn't we just introduce a new uh, heavyweight championship belt? Yeah, I mean, uh, recently, uh, I know they did. I don't remember how recently. And, I mean, and it's almost like you're splitting the belts again, doing this, introducing a second title. So, I mean, I, I, if you've listened to the show, anyone who's out there listening, or I should say watch the show, Oh, you've seen how adamant that I have been against having two world titles. I, I've, I've never liked the two world titles because ultimately one is going to feel less important than the other. Or, and that almost seems like with the universe title, which we'll get into our next segment, the universe is bigger than the world. So, I mean, are you saying the universe title was bigger than the world title? So, to me, a, that, that's the inherent problem of having two world titles. And that's why I'm saying that belt should be one title, goes between both shows, but then the other champions, you should have a division that fills it out. Because look at what Raw's doing with, like, the Cruiserweight division. They have the Cruiserweight division is going to be sold on Raw, and maybe if you introduce the championship back that way, hey, you can do that. That's why I'm saying those lower titles, you can have brand-specific. But the main title, you obviously you can't fit all the guys on one show. You have to split it between two shows. So that's where you would make the champion immune. And I feel like WWE is not figured out what they want to do yet with the brand and the championships. That's why they're kind of, I guess, making it up as they go along. Yeah, I think, you know, they knew it was going to be a big deal whenever they did do the brand split because back, it hasn't been tried this way in years. Like back when John Cena first came on scene at SmackDown. Mm -hmm. And I they, I don't think they were really fully prepared you know and they're trying to get the feel from the fans and everything on which direction that it needs to be taken which is something really good because honestly they do need to play off of the fans reactions because you know without the fans there's not really you know anything you can have you can be a wrestler but if you don't have a fan there you go. Yeah, if you have no one paying to for the building uh, or your income to wrestle or anything else, then yeah, it's kind of pointless. But that's exactly. all the time. Yeah, that's all the time we have for this segment. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more Robert's Wrestling Talk. We're going to bring some good booking or bad booking to Robert's Wrestling Talk next. So don't go anywhere. 